guys welcome back to my channel I know I've been gone for so long <sighs> two weeks that is a very long time and I really haven't been feeling good I've been and um, I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see some of you guys say drugstore makeup um, and some of you guys say y'all want to hear a story time I think I'm gonna record a story time right after this video but anyway so this is what i could come up with and all of this thing that i have on is affordable makeup yes you can look like a million buck with affordable makeup you don't have to spend so much money on makeup especially when you don't have it like that or you're just that type of person like me that likes to save money even if i do have it i just don't believe in spending 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 money i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel remember to always be your own kind of beautiful let's get into the video <laughs> and so the first thing we're going to be doing i'm just going to be taking my concealer that i got from imax for one dollar and i'm just going to put it all over my lid to prime and to also um block out the dark darkness around my lid so yeah if you don't have an eyeshadow primer don't worry you could just use a concealer okay so now I'm gonna take a powder from Allegio Cosmetics and this is in the shade medium beige and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid and just set that concealer that we applied Okay, so now we're going to get into doing our eyeshadow. And the first thing I'm going to be taking is a transition color. Oh my god, look how dirty my thing is. Oh, but anyway, don't mind it. This is the Morphe 35B palette. And I actually haven't used this a lot. Because, yeah. So I'm going to be taking this orange shade and this red shade right here. And I will be mixing those to um, use as my transition color. And when you're doing your, um, especially, okay, so for you to do transition color, you want to hold your brush like so, so that you can make that crease. It's not a very defined crease, but um, it does help. And especially if you have hooded lids like I do, let me see, like, I do have hooded lids. So it's very difficult for us to do, especially smoky eyes. So you want to hold your brush this way and start blending like in a circular motion right above your crease i don't know if you guys can see that so i'm going to try to intensify the color so i'm going to be taking this dense brush by the way it's dirty because obviously i did the other eye so i'm going to be taking this and I will be taking this shade right here, this purple shade, and this bluish purple shade. And I will be focusing that right in between my crease and that transition color. So I'm going to go back in that blending brush that I use and blend those. So I'm going to be taking this gel liner from Ruby Kisses and I will be applying it right on my lid. Quickly start to blend this because it can dry very fast. I'm gonna go back in that Morphe um, palette and take the black eyeshadow shade and just place it on the black gel liner just to kind of intensify the color in that um, blending brush. And I just put the same eyeshadow that we use and I will just blend that all together so it doesn't look ridiculously harsh. I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in Milk and I'll be putting it right on my waterline. Now you don't have to do this but if you do decide to do it you could do a shade that is like nude. Um, I wanted to do that but I couldn't find it so I'm just going to use this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back in those colors that we use for our transition color. And I'll be placing it underneath my eye. Right underneath that. Um... Okay, so now I'm going to take my Ardell lashes. 
and this one right here are the daisy lashes okay guys so we're gonna get right into the face the first thing i'm gonna be using is this true complexion primer from black radiance and this is today's my first time using it but i'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on it because i really i actually really like their stuff but i just never tried their primer so it's actually white like that and you know what so the first thing I like to do is color correct my face before applying foundation and what this does is basically balance off your skin and hide any like dark circles that you might have. So if you have... You guys see that? Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is in the shade 360 Mocha. And I'll be um, mixing my Allegro Pro Concealer with it just to kind of mute the color because this can be a little orange on my skin tones. Done with blending. I have to say something. I get a lot of questions from you guys saying what foundation do you use to cover up your scar? Because you guys think I use some kind of special foundation that covers up my scars. Um, and on my picture, you really can't see the sign of my scar at all. That's because I take my pictures from a certain angle that when I take it, it makes my bump that I have look flatter than it actually is. So honestly, you can use any foundation. Putting on foundation and kicking up your face is not going to make the, I mean, the scars disappear. That is not why I'm doing the makeup. It's not to make my scar disappear because you can still see my scars but the thing is it just kind of helps your whole face look the same color instead of trying to make it disappear because it's not going to disappear if that's what you're going for it would not disappear especially if it's a bump like this but if it's a flat um like dark circle scar that's fine like when you put your foundation you can't see it because it's not a bump but when it's something like this just look at my face you can see this side of my face it's flat but this side of course you can still see the bump but everything is the same color that is all so don't worry about if i'm using any special foundation i'm not i am going to be using these two shades so this is warm honey and this is fond and i just kind of mix those in my hand and love it So the loose powder I'm going to be using today is this Aries One loose powder and I got this from Walmart and I know some people said some stuff about it but that is I don't use it a lot. I used to use it a lot but yeah that's what I have today. So I'm going to be using that. So to contour my face I'm going to be taking oh, loose powder. To contour my face, I'm going to be taking another Black Radiance product, and this one is the Contour Palette, and this is in the medium to dark shade, and I'll be taking this right here, and I just like to swirl it. I'm just going to put it over right there. Just kind of brushing it. I'm going to be taking this Allego Pro Face High Definition Powder in Chestnut. And so we just using that to match everything. Should I apply my blush first because I'm using a cream blush on my face today. So I'm gonna be using this cream blush, and this is also from Allego Cosmetics. So I'm gonna be taking another wand of the Black Radiance palette, and this is in the light to medium. The other one was in medium to dark. So I'm going to be taking the highlighter here and just applying that on my chin. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to blend that. My lips, I'm going to be using this Nikon Lip Liner in Cocoa. And I'm just going to line my lips. 
And then I'm gonna be taking a uh, LA Gok, um Matte Velvety Flat Lipstick, and this is in the shade Hush. And I just